Alrighty guys, now let's let now let's get to some escapes off the of bottom. There's there's a couple. I know, I know there's a, a situation that we have in grappling that's in the turtle position. I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys a couple of the techniques. I'm gonna show you guys a real basic stand up, just a, a wrestling position there, and then I'm gonna teach you guys another escape. So we're only gonna follow up with two escapes from turtle. The turtle, you just you, you gotta be careful because you get those guys that take your back and it's just it's miserable to get these guys off. The two basic techniques that I'm gonna go over today is my opponent has turtle on me like so and typically what people like to do is they like to pretty much stand up this way like that but i'm kind of i'm kind of off balance because especially the position that he's at or they'll go this near side here but it's still i'm kind of tilting over here from this position what i like to do is i pretty much i like to face my opponent so every time i do stand up i like to use my opponent into a wall notice i'm using him to, to kind of lift me up here what I like to do is maybe control this, control this top grip here, use him as a stand-up, break that lock, or I can just pretty much go under wherever he's at, coming back for my real tuck. So it's, it's facing my opponent. Remember, I'm not standing straight up here. What am I doing is I'm turning in. I'm turning, I'm using, I'm, he, he's already off, he's, he's caught off guard already. Right? It's not, it's not this, it's not this stand up here. It's not this stand up here. I'm really, I'm gonna face my opponent. I'm gonna face him, boom! Control wrist right away, I'm gonna use him to get up. Stay short, I'm going under in this situation. For the escape. Let's go again, he's on top of me, right? I'm gonna get into him. Control the top of his wrist, go under, coming back for my real attack. One last, couple more times. Let's go. I'm getting straight. I'm using him as a prop, picking up that that top arm. Level changing. Coming back for my real attack. Even in every technique. I may know a thousand, five thousand moves. Really, you want to master those two, three moves in every area. And this is one of them. Just a good old basic stand up. Remember, I'm going to use him. I'm not standing up like a normal stand up, I'm sorry. I'm going to face him. I'm going to use him as a, as a prop to lift me up. I'm going to control that outside wrist. I'm going to get to my feet. And I'm going under. Boom. For the takedown. Ready? Uh, let's go. Uh, um, okay. So next, uh, next technique. Same position here. And this is a little more. This is a little more advanced, actually. 1996 Olympic champion Kendall Cross. I used to had. A, I was fortunate to uh, to train with him. I mean, one of the one of the most funkiest, gumbiest guys, and and probably wrestling history. 96 Olympic champ, two-time Olympian. Uh, just, just an all, all around awesome guy. Wrestled at Oklahoma State, um, and he, 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 he would put himself in certain situations where he thought it was awkward, but he would use that to leverage stuff to take you down. And this was actually one of them. Whenever, whenever somebody would turtle him in this position here, what he would do is he would always kind of uh, find that base, find that best with either this leg or the opposite leg. But in this position, he would always he would he would he would lift that leg up. He would grab the elbow. Like he was always looking for a limb and he was always in great posture and always looking for a, gri a grip and a limb. What he would do from a position like this is he would, he would, he would go from here to here to kind of create space a little bit. And now watch, I don't know if you guys can see me. Bring it back this way. As I'm here, what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna reverse my grip here, go above the knee and pretty much use this to kick off for the takedown. Now again, we're still, you know, it's still a wrestling match here, right? It's still a grappling match here. I mean, I can whew, lift this leg, go from here, or like I said, always, always basic. He's here. I'm in this position. I always want to make sure I face my opponent. Right, face. So again, opponent has turtle on me. Hold it, has turtle on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna secure something. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna find, and I'm gonna be above this elbow, like right here, right here. Let's bring it this way, 
right here. I'm gonna lift that outside leg up. I'm gonna bring it closer so I can find more space, so I can cover space to be able to grab this leg here. Grab this leg here, spinning around. I'm from here. It's a weird grip, but I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna cartwheel over. I'm gonna use this speed here. Use my head as an indicator. And I'm gonna cartwheel over. It's very, uh, it's, it's awesome to understand that, uh, I guess the mathematics of, uh, of wrestling, like it's, it's pretty cool. Sometimes if you're gonna even break wrestling down into math, it's, uh, it's interesting Le learning how to use leverage. And this is one technique that when they have, when they're on top of you and they're uh, doing that turtle position, I'm gonna create space, I'm gonna create leverage by using it. So this technique right here, this technique right here is, 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 based, on, is based on leverage, right? Leverage and control. I'm gonna create it. I'm gonna create that leverage. He's in better position now. I'm gonna grab that elbow. I'm gonna step. I'm gonna step and I'm gonna find that outside leg there. It's okay if he's up. I'm still gonna take him off. I'm still gonna take him. I'm gonna cartwheel. I'm gonna I'm either have a couple options here, but let's be safe. Let's get our two. Let's get our pin. Let's get our side control. Right. Let's go over here, turn turtle. Turn the, the, the other way, yeah. The other way. Remember, control the limb. Control the limb, number one. Number two, I'm really gonna step. I'm gonna turn this into a shot. I'm gonna turn this into a roll fire, right? Boom, grip it to the outside, pushing off. Pushing off there for the takedown. I hope, uh, I hope these last techniques of, uh, of the, the basic, I call it the fat man stand up. The reason why is because when you see the, how they would, how, how, how bigger people stand up, they, they like get into them. They always do it this way. You know, we can take a page out of that, right? Because they're so big and they're so heavy. You watch these college wrestlers. They don't do this right here. When you have a big dude on top of you, it's like, man, what's the balance, right? I'm gonna, boom, I'm gonna face my opponent. I'm gonna use them as a wall. I'm gonna step down. Second technique, we'll call it the Kendall Cross, the Kendall, the Kendall Cross, the Kendall Cross cartwheel. It's controlling that limb, controlling, finding that limb, raising that leg up, creating that, creating, creating that that roll cartwheel, right, for the takedown. So these are the two positions at a turtle that a wrestler for grapplers could enjoy.